Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GameDube, and welcome back to our Poppy Playtime character concept series. So the character we've created for today's video is called Koala Crybear. So we'll go into this character's backstory, location, gameplay mechanics, and all that good stuff as well. But before we do any of that, do be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with all the videos that we post. Also, as I always do, I'll just state that this isn't linked to the overall universe and lore of Poppy Playtime. This is just a fun, fan-made character story, and we hope you enjoy. Alrighty, well with that all out of the way, let's get into the character concept of Koala Crybear. So, previously in our Poppy Playtime character concept series, we've been looking into the new toys called the Joyful Critters. This new and improved range of critters are much more advanced than the Smiling Critters. They were made to replace the Smiling Critters after all the bad press surrounding the Catnap Nightmare controversy. Playtime Co. made multiple changes and improvements to this new line of toys. The Joyful Critters no longer have zippers or sprayable scents. Instead, their scent is infused into their fabric, but one thing that remained was their unique emblems. The Joyful Critters each have an emblem that reflects a different emotion. These could be happy, sad, angry, etc. The first Joyful Critter that we've met is Fun Fox, and Fun Fox's emblem was happy. But happy was the last thing any of these Joyful Critters would be. In the last video, we learned that these poor critters were infused with the souls of the Playcare orphans. This explained why these new toys were so advanced and so lifelike. But as always, everything that Playtime Co. tries to accomplish always turns bad. The playful critters couldn't take this torment any longer and rebelled against the workers. So now all these vengeful critters lurk the halls and are ready to attack any workers they see. And this of course includes the player. After their run-in with Fun Fox, they now know what dangers await them further ahead, and it won't be long before they meet the next joyful critter. Speaking of, let's introduce her now. So the next joyful critter we're introducing is Koala Crybear. This special little koala is definitely in a mood. Her emotion emblem was that of sadness. Hence her name, Koala Crybear would spend most of her time being upset. There wasn't much that could cheer her up. And whoever could stop her crying was surely a special person indeed. Koala Crybear. She's always sad, she's always down, but with the help of her friends, that frown can be turned upside down. Always remember, it's okay to cry. Scent Eucalyptus. So out of all the joyful critters, Koala Crybear was one of the most unique, and her unique ability was that she could actually produce real tears. The toy would slowly release droplets of water from its eyes. Exactly how this worked was never made clear. Some people theorized that it could have been an internal water tank inside her body, but Playtime Co. never disclosed how Koala Crybear would actually shed her tears. But the unfortunate truth lies within the sad souls trapped inside her body. Just like all the other joyful critters, day after day her soul was being transferred into her toy counterparts little by little. This of course made Koala Crybear terribly sad. She would shed so many tears that the water eventually short-circuited all the equipment. It was at this moment that she would be able to free herself and also free the other critters as well. With all of them now free, they attacked the workers and took revenge. But even being free couldn't cure Koala Crybear's sadness. Even though the suffering and torture ended for her and her friends, she still couldn't stop crying. It was almost like she was bearing all the sadness for her and her friends. They didn't have the ability to cry, so she would do it for them. She eventually locked herself in the basement of this facility. Here she could be alone and wallow in her own sadness. No one could bother her and no one could see her cry. And if anyone were to witness her crying, she'd be very embarrassed and angry. And unfortunately for the player, they would soon witness this anger. Speaking of the player, we now return to their current position in the transferal facility. They found themselves up against a large locked door that requires a key to open it. After searching around, they find a document that says the key they need is in the basement. The key to the main facility door A3 is located down in the basement. The orange colored key should be in the storage room, but be careful, she's down there. Don't look at her cry. If she catches you, it'll all be over. Just keep moving and try to ignore her. Good luck. 
The player has a really bad feeling about the basement area. What on earth could be down there? And why is it crying? But if they want to get through this locked door, they need to go down there and retrieve the key. So that's exactly what they do. After walking down the many steps, they finally reach the basement area. But there's something quite strange about this place. It was filled with water. This water was almost about knee high. There must have been a ruptured pipe down here and it must have flooded the area. Regardless, the player keeps moving forward to find this key. As they walk through this area, they can hear something quite strange. It almost sounds like someone is crying. They can see a steady stream of droplets falling from above. And as they look up, they can see where they're coming from. It was Koala Crybear. She was crying a constant stream of tears. Each teardrop was adding to the water down below. The player couldn't believe that she had cried this much and she could have flooded a whole basement. They try to avoid her and hope she doesn't notice them, but it was already too late. She drops down right in front of the player. Those tears suddenly turn into a violent anger. The player makes a break for it as she chases after them. As the player rushes through this area, they need to be quick. They need to find the storage room and get away from Koala Crybear. Eventually, after running around, they locate the storeroom. They rush in and lock the door behind them. Luckily for the player, the orange key is waiting there for them. They grab it and make their way out of the basement. But Koala Crybear would be lurking around outside looking for them. On the way back, the player comes across something quite dangerous. All this tear water has made its way to the electricals. Certain areas of the basement would be filled with electrified water. The player would need to step on the platforms and turn off the power with their grab hand, but they could use this to their advantage. Whenever they see Koala Crybear lurking around, they would quickly activate the power. This would send a shocking current straight through her body. This would temporarily stun her and the player could pass right by her. So whenever the player sees a power switch, they could use it to their advantage, turning it off and on so they can get past, but also shock Koala and stun her body. As they make it through this area, they almost reach the steps. But just before they exit this place, they get ambushed by Koala Crybear. She looks furious at the player, almost like she wants to tear them apart. And before she does, the player quickly thinks on their feet. They reach for the ceiling and grapple onto a handle. They extend up to the ceiling and activate the power from down below. The final shock stuns Koala Crybear right in place. The player uses this time to rush back up the stairs and make their exit. Finally, they head back to the main facility door and unlock it with the key. Now that they've escaped the clutches of Koala Crybear, they can finally exit through this area and make their way forward. The player was lucky to escape her in one piece. If they were unlucky enough, they could have been torn apart by this ferocious, joyful critter. But luckily, they lived to see another day. And unfortunately, they'll most likely see another joyful critter in their travels. But as to who will be next is unclear. And until then, we'll just have to wait and see. So I think that Koala Crybear would be another great addition to our Joyful Critters roster of characters. I think she could offer an interesting gameplay mechanic with flooding the whole basement with her tears. She's also quite the intimidating character and would keep the player on their toes. If the player isn't careful enough, they would surely be torn apart by this ferocious critter. They would need to use their skills and sneak past her unnoticed. But if they weren't careful, she would surely give the player something to cry about. Alrighty everyone, well that's what we have for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting and subscribing as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let me know what you thought of Koala Crybear and what you'd like to see going forward. Also, I just wanted to thank you all for tuning in and watching today's video and also a very big thank you to our GameRidge members as well. But alrighty everyone, until our next Poppy Playtime character concept video, I'll catch you later, bye.